Hi folks, my name is Andrew and today I'm going to talk to you about the first puzzle of Bands of Cipher which is called the Elemental Balance or the Balance of Elements. The object of this particular puzzle is to find the absolute balance of the five elements with the core. So if you look at this puzzle which you will find in your first Bands of Cipher 1 box and it has five rings and uh, each ring has five elements on them and it's basically uh, metal which you see metals right here then uh, there, there is uh, earth, nature, water and fire. Now the trick is to balance the core. Now if you see the core is changing every time I make a selection of a particular element. Okay so once you raise your portal you'll see these four rings with elements on them and uh, think of this whole puzzle as sort of like a balance that each of these elements are weights and you can see the biggest giveaway is the size of each of these icons the bigger the icon the more the weight and uh, they are in a uh, decreasing order of weight so metal is the heaviest then the next heaviest is, uh, next lightest is the earth, then nature, then the water, and fire is the lightest element. Now, the elements that are on the outer ring of the puzzle, they are heavier than elements on the next inner ring, and the next one, the next and so forth. So the fire on the outer ring here is relatively heavier than the metal on the next inner ring and so forth. So the object is to obtain a perfect balance of the core. I'm going to start off by setting all these rings to fire which means it's the lightest you can be on this band and then this portal. So I'm going to start adjusting the weights and I will slowly add the heaviest element which is the metal and I will see that the core is yellow which means that my combination is too heavy so uh, I'm going to go to the next lighter element which is earth and I'm going to click that and the core still is yellow which means I'm still a little too heavy so I go to nature and nature is apparently still heavy so I'll try water okay so we have a hit so at, at water, I see that the core is telling me that the overall weight of the core is too light now. But here, at nature, it's too heavy and at water, it's too light. So it means that we should probably fine tune this by going into the next ring, just like weights. So fire, it's the, the next ring is at, at fire. I'm going to set that to metal and see what happens. Okay, it, it's now yellow, so that means um, our combination of water and metal and two fires is too heavy for the core. So I'm on the same ring, on the second ring from the outer ring, we're going, going to start adjusting these weights. So I'm going to click earth and see that it's still yellow so I'm going to repeat the process and fine-tune this click nature and it's still yellow so I'm gonna try the next lighter just water okay so now we know that we've got two waters in this combination so we just have to find the final two combination to crack the safe aka the core now I'm uh, the nature is too heavy water is too light so I'm gonna move on to the next ring I'm gonna click metal start start off by the heaviest so and then we can slowly take off the weights till we find the balance we're gonna click metal okay metals too heavy on this ring it's got earth still too heavy We've got all right looks like we cracked the safe <laughs> well that was a sort of an easy combination but um, it can get complicated and you have to go on to the other rings and just oh look hey we've got a Yumi coming out so we've got portal open and we, we're gonna see a Yumi in our dimension so let's hope all right looks like the Yumi is coming out of the portal should be any minute now come 
on, little guy. And there, there she is. It's a girl. Okay, so uh, the way I can tell is by the uh, the back hair. And so we, we've got a Yumi out here. We solved the combination and the Yumi came out. The next step will be to put the Yumi into my habitat so it can gain nether and then I can use the Yumi again to transco to portal. Alright, so we're going to give our little friend here a, a little home where they can gain nether and then transcode eventually. Now I got lucky on my try that I demonstrated on that the Yumi doesn't always respond. When you solve the portal, it's gonna take you about maybe five to ten tries depending on the mode you solve it on, advanced expert. They have higher chances of a Yumi response. So I'm gonna touch this habitat and I'm going to uh, spawn a crystal and uh, the crystal is going to serve as a home for our Yumi. So to put a Yumi in a crystal, we click the crystal and click Nether Open. And it's going to wait for a response for 30 seconds. In the meantime, you click on the Yumi and do a long click, which is click and hold for about two seconds. And then click Nether Form and the Yumi will go into this crystal. And it's going to take Nether Form. Now the difference between a habitat and a crafting table, which we have here, is the habitat spawns a normal or an average crystal, which takes about 6, uh, sometimes 12 to 14 days for a Yumi to Nether, and uh, it gives you a starting point of how to Nether the Yumis. Now the catch is the, the new, the mini Yumis cannot go into the crystals that are spawned by habitat but you have to craft a different kind of crystal for the Yumi's for the new game which is Bands of Cypher 2. Uh, these crystals that you can spawn from the crafting table uh, can uh, can basically be home to the uh, the minis and the giants both and uh, the new ones cannot go into the old crystals. Let's give it another try. We're going to crack the combination on this particular band. And we start off by setting the rings to fire. And uh, again, this is not the most efficient method, but it's a method that will uh, help you start off um, and learn the puzzle quickly so you can solve it on the more advanced modes. So what I did, uh, did the same thing, set it all to fire so it's the lightest and work your way towards the heaviest and then tweak down the ring on the same ring till it, you, you hit a yellow, a blue. So now the core is blue and it's still fire so I'm going to try and move on to the next ring which is metal and move till I see yellow. So my combination looks like so far it's fire, nature, fire, fire. So I'll try on the third ring which is the third from the outermost. The closer to the core means it's lighter and away from the core means it's heavier. So again, you can look at the size of these icons into determining which is lighter and what is heavier. Another way to remember this is some like uh, hot and cold. Uh, I like to prefer heavy and light. So this is uh, heaviest is the metal and fire is the lightest and outermost ring is the heaviest and the innermost ring right here is the lightest. So I'm going to tweak till I get yellow, yellow to blue transition and I'll keep doing this till the, the safe opens and the core is now balanced. Okay, so you're going to see that the Yumi you had in the crystal is now ready to transcode. You're, you'll see 100% nether. This, this process usually takes a few days and once it's fully nethered you can uh, urge the Yumi to come out by clicking elemental in the menu. So once you click elemental, the Yumi is going to turn back into its elemental form from the nether form. So once the Yumi is out, you can uh, transcode the Yumi into the portal and another Yumi with similar genetic traits is going to appear from the portal. Okay, so the Yumi is now back into the elemental form and I am going to transcode the Yumi into this portal. Come here, little guy. 
Okay. So to transcode, you need to first click on the uh, bounding box of the portal, which is outside these rings, because if you click the rings, they'll move. So click on uh, the backboard, and you will get a menu. So once you get the menu, you click transcode, and the ring will turn green, telling you that it's waiting for a response from Yumi. So then you click on the Yumi that you wish to transcode, and click and hold for two seconds, which is a long click, and then click transcode. Okay, so now you can see the transcoding was successful, and now we just have to balance, which means do the puzzle one more time, and the Yumi is going to come out, which is going to be a similar genetic trait than this one. Now in transcoding process, one of the traits will be different most of the times. And uh, three of the traits will be carried over, meaning uh, it's going to contact a Yumi with the similar genetic traits. So I'm going to solve the portal now and uh, wait for the Yumi to come out. So same process, I'm going to start with metal. And apparently the metal is too light, so it looks like we have a nice little tricky combination which um, needs to be cracked, so let's do that again. We're going to set all of this to fire, and then metal is still light, so we're going to try the next ring, and click the metal, and it's light. Okay, it looks like we've got a pretty heavy core here. So we're going to go another metal. Okay, so now it has turned yellow means three metal is too heavy for the core. So we should try to make it a little lighter. So we're going to click the earth, which is the next lighter element on the third band. Remember, you don't want to click the outer two bands because you've already found out what they are in a way. So we click earth. Okay, so, so far we've cracked metal, metal, earth. And now it's up to the final band. So we're going to start with metal metal's too heavy and there you go and so the combination was earth on the final band and transcoding was successful and now once you balance the core another Yumi comes out and it's coming right now and that's it folks that's the life cycle of the game one which is bands of cipher one the balance of elements our recent expansion introduced two new games, which is the Elemental Chemistry, which is this crystal crafting set, and the Genetic Engineering, which will be another tutorial for another time. Thank you for watching.